Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? I'm Matt with uh, Matt's Off-Road Living. Today we're going to go over a golf cart on 35-inch boggers. We're going to go over the rear disc brake conversion kit on it. So, yeah, it'll be exciting. Uh, I put it together. I put the kit together. We went to Napa, and uh, I spent about an hour and a half there just to find the rotors. I'll have all the parts lists. Um, towards the end of the video we'll go over all the parts needed to do it and then uh yeah let's get into it in the back here we got this brake conversion we got the willwood willwood disc single piston calipers got car rotors on there everything went pretty smoothly it's a five bolt five bolt rotor four bolt golf cart I had to drill new holes that wasn't any big deal pretty much centered itself it was very nice the rotor fits over the original drum. Uh, that that was the big issue. Um, find that, and then I needed a three eighths inch thick rotor to fit the Willwood calipers that I got. So uh, we'll go into the mounting of it. That was oh, hey Cam, how's it going? Hey you. All right. So, when I mounted this, it has the two slides on it. It has the two sliding pins on it that bolt thread into this L bracket here. So I needed to build it up, which I used the existing uh, golf cart uh, flange. I built up off of that. Worked myself up to this 90, so now I got a flat platform to work off of. I made this 90 once or twice took quite a few hours i built it and everything drilled the holes tapped the holes and it bound up this was the hardest part on these calipers to get working properly was to get these sliders when the caliper slides back and forth not to bind up the way i did that started with a nice flat surface i did angle angle brackets drilled and tapped them to make them fit both sides, this side and the other side's the same. Um, then I clamp these down. I clamp those 90, 90 brackets down with uh, vice grips, attack, tack, everything, lots of tacks, and then I welded it up. Made sure that the caliper would slide nicely. Did that on both sides. And then uh, what I did was, then I built this little brake line coming off of it, made a, another little 90 mount, used the existing bolt. So now I can go into a rubber line since the caliper moves, then I can go into a rubber line. So I got parts and everything list, like I said, coming up later. But this is a little, uh, little rubber brake line. I put it into a washer that I welded onto the lower arm. Got it uh, clamped in there with the with the brake line uh, U bolts or uh, not? It's not a U bolt. It's a just a clamp. I don't know what they're called. But and then we got the, the brake line coming back. All right, girl, come on over here. Good girl, sit, sit. This is Cam, by the way. She's our garage dog. She likes being into everything that we do. So, all right, let's get down here. Oh, you stay. So now, both lines on both arms, this side and the other side, are all identical. The other one does come over on this uh, lower control arm here. And we go into a, a T. We go into a T here. T goes small little solid line into another washer that's welded on. The washer is then into another rubber line, so you'll need three of these rubber lines. They're all the same. And then we run that up into the master cylinder. All right, 
right, here's the master cylinder. I didn't know when I was putting it together how much throw I would have on the brake pedal here. So I made a bracket plenty big, found out didn't need much, so I can actually cut it off. But this is a one inch bore master cylinder from Summit. Has remote reservoir. Line comes down here. And you can see it right up in there. There's the remote. Let me point it out. Right there is a the remote reservoir. Easy to get to on top. Brake pedal works. You got, got good brake pedal. Very good brake pedal. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Any questions you can ask? Uh, let's go over some parts here. All right. Like I said, it's just on. It's just on the rear of the golf cart. So uh, if, if for some reason it doesn't stop good enough, or I get into crazy hills or trails or something, we'll see how it does. But I don't think this one I'm going to. But I could always do a front set of brakes, which if I did, I would definitely video the whole thing. But uh, yeah, let's get into some parts here. So, I'm gonna put this light down. I don't need the light. We have premium rotors. Let's make sure that we're, we're focusing here. All right, let's do that. I think that looks pretty good. We got our rotors here that fit over the original drums. They're from Napa. Here's your part number. You'll need two of those. And now we go to Summit. Summit Racing. We get the we get the uh, calipers. Let's see if I can zoom in there. Come on, brother. Uh, is that better? Is that better? Let's see if a little bit of light helps here. Light helping or hurting? Low wood. All right, so we got the calipers on top. You'll need uh, two calipers. You need uh, one set of uh, the pads, and then you'll need a uh, combination master cylinder. It is the one-inch bore. That's what I got. Fits great. Feels great. That's what I went with, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, Three rubber lines are from Napa. Uh, there's the part number, and then just your average brake line. So, brake line I don't have in here, but like I said, it's just a regular brake line, and then you gotta get the ends that fit your master cylinder. I actually don't have the part numbers there, but you just go into Napa with your uh, master cylinder, and they get you all the ends that you need. All right. Well, thank you very much. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. I know you hear that all the time, but it does help. So, uh, yes. Thank you very much, and you guys have a good one. Enjoy.